this is a Matheson yard. Um, we uh, started to restore it uh, at the end of last season, probably October, November. Um, and we came back here last Sunday. Um, we're trying to finish up. We have two more stones to uh, repair and um, reinstall. Um, but um, the, 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 whole, the whole plan is to uh, uh, talk about the annual uh, cemetery cleanup day, which is which was April 16th. Uh, we, uh, we, we hope we get some volunteers. We have we have several groups that have already committed themselves, and um, we're hoping to get a few more. Um, yeah, a lot of, when we first come here, a lot of the stones are sunken in the ground. This is the, the, wooden, the wooden caskets get rotted, so they sink over the years. What we do is dig them up and um, bring them up to the ground level, cement them into bases if they have bases. And um, try and make everything lined up and parallel. Try to find the proper uh, foot stones that go with the headstones. Right? Yeah. And you guys, uh, we actually followed the, um, the old um, James uh, record, records. Old records, yeah. Yep. And see how exactly accurate they are. And yeah, that's invaluable. His his yeah. uh, his inventory from the 1890s is just totally invaluable. Uh, we wouldn't know where to begin uh, because. Inventories uh, after him didn't come along until like the 30s, so so there's quite a number of years from his inventory in the 1890s to the 1930s. So, uh, in fact, Joseph Stone, it's right there. He was that was his house there. It's still standing at the entrance to um, Simmons Village. Oh. And you said you found one underground? Yeah. His wife, Anne, was found about almost, you know, a two feet or so below that tree. So the tree roots may have knocked it over or it could have yeah. been yeah. Yeah. natural or... Yeah, yeah or definitely. Yeah. I'm talking about the tree. That one was... Yeah, that tree's got to go. Well, there was one on that side of the tree, right? Yeah, and well... Over the years, the tree grew and... Yeah, these two pieces... These two pieces were buried on that side of the tree... See, what was, what was nice is his footstone and her footstone were still there. Mm -hmm. We believe they were untouched. So based on that, we knew that their headstones had to be in that location. It's just awesome. It's almost like... It's almost like um, you brush it off and get the ear dust and stuff. And it's know. almost like a granite stone. This, it was. I think it was. I think she died in 1885, and we're thinking that was a transition period from from marble to granite. Oh. So, uh, you, you know, you can see you can see that the wood, the uh, stone carver did some work on that stone. Wow. And the oldest ones would be those two, maybe. The slate. Well, the oldest are the un, un, oh. um, marked um, stones. We call them rude stones. Oh, okay, yeah. You can't, can't tell the date, but they look uh, like they were their first. We, we've only found one uh, with letters AF on them, uh, and it that happens to be the Fenner, the Fenner Cemetery on the shore in Atwood. There's, there's a carved AF on it. We're, we're thinking, you know, we're just guessing that it's Arthur Fenner. Uh, I was going to guess Fenner, too. There was a few Arthur Fenners, so. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh, these are pretty old. 1849 and 1842. Yeah. We had some no, they don't do it anymore. No. At least they don't do it. They don't do it individually. They do a ton of other ones. Oh, yeah. We, yeah. Have to, we have to hook up with a couple of other societies and come up with a bunch of signs. Yeah, because I know you said originally that they were numbered because of the veterans. Mm -hmm. They're numbered because of the veterans, yeah. You guys just added them yeah. after? Yeah. It's, 
it's a historical cemetery because there's a veteran buried there. Yeah, yeah. Whether yeah. it's uh, War of eighteen twelve, Revolutionary, yeah. Civil. That's so the ones that didn't have numbers, you guys added them later on. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Every cemetery should be numbered. Yeah, exactly. You know, there's no way to. The, 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 the cemetery shouldn't be uh, eliminated from the number system. I love these with the willow tree. It's like a. It's awesome. Yeah. yeah. There's somebody that speaks about the symbolism on the. Uh, yeah, they all have symbolism of course. <laughs> oh my god. You know, it's that's something we have to uh, address. You know, with that tree there, it's difficult. This tree has to go too. I don't know what we can do. We'd have to. We'd have to have professionals do this one. Mm -hmm. But we don't have the money for that. Oh, yeah.